Hello there. It's the old bloke again. Uh, when I was uh, a youngster, I had uh, a Triumph Tiger Cub motorbike. Now, now I've got another one. Um, I bought it on a bit of a whim, actually. It's um, it's a nineteen. Well, it's a 1959 model, but um, the the uh, engine and the chassis numbers are different, which is a bit of a shame and uh, a bit upsetting, really. I should have uh, checked it a bit better when I bought it. Never mind. I've been out for a couple of rides on it, but, um, you know, the Harley, um, the Harley has won my heart these days. Um, yeah, the Harley's um, not in there. Harley's gone for a service. She's been away for, well, it'll be five days tomorrow, but she'll be back tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah, so I'm going to tell you a little story about the old um, Triumph Cub. As I say, when I was young, I, I was the proud owner of one of these. Um, it was completely unreliable. And uh, it often used to let me down just when I needed it the most. In fact, I suppose you could call it reliably unreliable. This little motorbike was at its most unreliable at those times when I had somehow persuaded one of the young ladies of the village to... Um, come join me for a romantic trip out into the countryside. We had to call them young ladies in those days. Well, they had to behave as young ladies. The, um, the pill hadn't been invented yet. Uh, so yeah, I'd um, say, come on, I'll, I'll take you for a ride on my bike. And uh, I'd say, I promise to be there at a certain time. And uh, I shouldn't have actually made any promises like that. Yeah, I used to say, yeah, I'll be there. Don't worry about that. I'll be there. Don't forget to bring a blanket, I used to say, hopefully. <laughs> uh, I used to allow myself plenty of time to, um, to get it started. And um, it was a good job I did. But it never would. It never, never would go properly. Not when I needed it. There were times when I, when I wasn't um, about to take a young lady for a ride, when it would start perfectly, and uh, I'd spend the whole day riding around. Yeah, the old kickstart pedal frightened me on my bike. This one's, this one's like, um, well, it's just like a baby. Just give it a little tap, practically, and off it goes. Uh, I've not got the battery in it at the minute, so I can't demonstrate it. Um, but yeah, it was um, my my old bike was really violent at times, and uh, uh, I knew it was going to kick back violently, and uh, I used to sort of garner my my bravery to um, go ahead and do it. It was devious too, and it, sometimes it would um, lull me into a false sense of security by by starting on the first attempt. Yeah, you know, as soon as I heard it um, firing, I'd turn the, tis the twist grip really frantically, revving the engine madly, desperately hoping that it would warm up and keep running. Yeah, you should build my hopes up. Rev, rev. Building, rev, rev, dwindling, rev gone, fat. After about another half hour or so of fruitless, painful attempts at kickstarting her, it had to be a her, I would give up in despair. No romantic trip. No young lady, no blanket on the ground. Just two very painful ankles and bruised shins. Both ankles and both shins. Because I didn't give in easily when one leg was knackered. 
I used to switch to the other one. But I'll tell you what, I love that little motorbike. I loved how she looked. What's up, Mia? Telling a story here. Good girl. Good guard dog. Yeah. Who's it? Tell him off. Good girl. Good girl, man. That'll do. That'll do. Enough. I've lost, I've lost my place. Oh. Anyway, yeah, I love that little motorbike. I loved how she looked and I loved how she smelled. And when she did go, I loved how she went. We didn't have any need for crash helmets in those days. You could feel the wind on your face and in your hair. The miles I rode her were worth all the miles I had to push her home. Yeah, they were, they were great days. Great days to remember with regards to motorbikes. If you ever get the chance to ride a Tiger Cub, just remember, if it doesn't start, it will be either you haven't turned the ignition key or you've forgotten to turn the petrol on. That's a bit of advice that was hard learnt and hard earned. The young lady, oh yeah, oh she went off with my mate. He had a BSA Gold Star. Bastard. See you later.